I had Malik Yoba on my show. Recently. Malik! It's my man! And, you know, for example, I've talked to a lot of actors yes. of Vlad TV. Like, right. For example, I talked to Michael Jai White. Right. Asked whether he would ever wear a dress in a movie. He said, hell no. Were you ever asked, you know, ever had a role where you were going to dress like a, you know, dress like a woman in that role had you accepted it? No, I, it was it was a part of a comedy. Uh, I was doing a, um, a sitcom, and it was just a quick suggestion. I was like, oh, "Can't I'm, I'm not doing that." And it, oh, okay, cool. It was just, it was not, <laughs> that, that it, was but it was not that, yeah. no conspiratorial type of thing like that. Jamar has said that he would not take a role like this. My manager knows. Don't even send me in for no shit that involves. Something that I'm not morally comfortable with. Mainly playing some sort of homosexual slash transvestite, whatever the case may be. You know, I'm not with it. There's plenty of other people that are with it. And I probably get less calls because of that. See what I'm saying? My phone probably doesn't ring as much as... It would if I would say, put me in the game, coach. I'm ready to do whatever. Malik Yoba said no problem. So my one-man show, Hall in the Hollywood, I play over 15 characters. My show is set in a therapist's office. Uh, one of the main characters is Gladys Ro Rosenberg, who's an old Jewish woman. She's a therapist. That's me. I play two trans characters in it. I play an old Spanish man. I play an old Italian guy. I play an old Jamaican woman. So for me, we're vessels. And the goal is to show humanity in all of its fullness. And I'm half man, half woman. My mother birthed me. I'm half of that. And I think for a lot of men, um, we really have a problem identifying with that side of ourselves because we have some notion that that doesn't make you man. Well, you couldn't be a man without a woman. Shit. Now, you're an actor as well. Yes, I'm an actor. in a bunch of movies. Yes. Would you wear a dress? No. Would you? Uh-uh. No? Nah, I don't. You know, here's the thing. If Hollywood started off on a fair foot, okay, if blacks and whites all started off on a fair thing, like black men, white men, black women, white women, Asian, if we all started off on a fair and equal basis, and it wasn't this like white in superiority against black inferiority, it wasn't this suppressive shit, maybe you go, you know what? Because Jack Lemon, you know, famous actor Jack Lemon, um, Milton Berle, they all dressed up as women. It was funny. It was funny shit. Flip Wilson. Famous black comedian from the 70s, did Geraldine. He killed it. He had his own show. He played different characters. Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx. Started out all, as Wanda. And for me, I think a lot of black men have done it out of wanting to get to the next level. That's my opinion. I can't do that shit. I'm not doing it because to me, you know, they always say, but you're an actor. I go, yeah. Like when they say, hey, would you play a gay role? I go, most of the time... When you play a gay role, it's just to shut down black mas masculinity. It's to shut it down, to kill the alpha, because alpha mass black masculinity has always been a threat to white, the white majority. It always has been. You know, in white families, they say, "Don't you, don't, you better not date no goddamn nigga." You know, a lot of Latin families get like that. The black masculinity has always been scary, because you know, even around the world, when I would travel, you know, when I would travel. Cab drivers would literally be like this. Hey, what are you doing? Black guy, beat the dick. Ah, ah, beat the dick. They were just, it was like, a, you know, it's, you know, it's worldwide that everybody knows about black dicks. You know what I mean? And if, if, I, if I were to, if, if white men had thought bubbles in their head, I swear there'd be a black dick just dancing in their thoughts like with gloves on. Just a black dick. So, you know what I mean? And so, if, because when we first started on in Hollywood, Black people were buffoon, we were coons, we were mammies. Like Hattie McDaniel, we were mammies. Hattie McDaniel, who was in Gone with the Wind, she was the first African-American to win an Oscar. 
She was a she was a pretty much a mammy, the fat black woman. Then there's the coon, step and fetch it. If you guys look these people up, step and fetch it. We were the white people put on blackface to make fun of us. They shit on us all the time. So nowadays, you know, a, a, listen, I'm and and I don't want anybody to get it twisted. You can get in a dress and it can be artistic, but I but to me, the symbolism behind it is about shutting down black masculinity. That's just my opinion. I should be able to, like Denzel Washington, I go by the Denzel Washington um, schematic. He's always played wonderful characters. You can be a heterosexual man. You don't have to jump in a dress. And to each his own for the people that do it. But I noticed that everybody that has gotten to the top has put on a dress. And the motherfuckers that don't put on a dress, it's always this resistance and shit like that. And when they say a gay role, I go, hey, I'm not even homophobic at all. Why don't you give that role to a gay black actor who actually has the nuances of being gay, yeah. who's not buffooning his community, who actually understands what it's like to be gay. Give it to them. They're unemployed. 